When I first decided to review this game, I saw that it was developed by Titus and I was instantly dreading what the cart would contain. To my surprise, the game is very different than I was expecting, and whilst yes, it is a chess game, you'd be hard pushed to find a more solid offering on a console. Chess is a game that you'll either love or have no interest in whatsoever. Thankfully, the game wants to change that opinion. I was expecting there to be a huge manual for this game, so I was surprised to see how basic it was. And that's because the game contains one of the best tutorial modes on any game on the console. For beginners who are just learning how to play, to masters who want to learn advanced tactics, there are tutorials to develop all of your skills. Titus the Fox, through text on screen and animations on the board, shows you each lesson, and breaking down the lesson into small chunks means that by the time you come to play a game, you should be perfectly refreshed and ready to go. Thankfully it's also interactive, so you can go from setting up a board to learning advanced techniques such as castling, un passant capture and promotions. Out of any chess game I've ever played, this is one I'd easily recommend to someone new to the game. And once you're into the game, then there are also a wealth of options to customise the game. Firstly you can choose between a 3D board and also a 2D version, and you can also change the viewpoint to see things from another perspective. When you take an opponent there are also 3D animations which are quite varied, and although they don't go anywhere near the violence of battle chess, they do offer some humour during the matches. And for purists, don't worry, these animations can be turned off should you wish. The entire game is in high res without the use of the expansion pack, and so everything looks crisp and sharp. Yes, there is very little actually taxing the console's resources, but I must say I was pleasantly surprised, especially coming from Titus. The same too can be said for the game's music. It's relaxing and there are four different background tracks to choose from, and the sound effects are also clear, and whilst it doesn't do anything I wasn't expecting, what it does do, it does do well. Perhaps the strongest feature of this game though is its AI. And no, I'm not kidding you. To throw some trivia at you, Titus actually won the award for the best AI at the 96 and 97 World Microcomputer Chess Championship Professional category. Heck, they also won the 95 Harvard Cup, so for its time there were few AI engines which could have topped this. There are 12 difficulty modes to choose from, including two which the developers called Artificial Stupidity, and these are for beginners, as the opponent will make mistakes during the game. All the way right up to Grandmaster difficulty, where your opponent will take you in a matter of moves. At the end of the day though, it's still a chess game, and it's a genre which has a very small following, especially on home consoles. If you have even a slightest interest in chess however, then you really should give this game a try. So what do you think of Virtual Chess 64? Is it a game you've ever played as a kid? I personally have never seen this in the wild, so until today I'd never played it before. It's not a game I'll likely ever return to again, but I always love hearing your thoughts on the games that we talk about, so let me know in the comments down below, and until next time.